life is really hard. You wouldn't want to do it for me, would you? I didn't think so. Well, I guess that leaves just me. Let's see. Correct the adverb in the following sentence. Heidi spoke quiet in the library. Well, spoke is the verb in the sentence, so the adverb should tell how Heidi spoke. I know there's that big sign in the library that says, quiet, please. So it should be correct to say Heidi spoke quiet in the library. But somehow that doesn't sound right. What do you think, Dinah? Oops. You probably think I should be quiet since you're trying to rest. Well, I know just the place to go so you can have a little peace and quiet. doing a crossword puzzle, and I need a five-letter word that means perfect. Gee, let me think. I've got it. Wait. So do I. A five-letter word that means the same as perfect is, of course, green. <laughs> that was the word you were going to say, wasn't it? Well, actually, I was going to say ideal. Mm -hmm. But hey, if Queen Fitz, use it. Bell call! Bell call! Uh, Queen. 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 Oh, Queen or current resident? Oh, Lord. A letter from the Duchess. Oh, oh the nerve. What's the matter, Your Majesty? The Duchess corrected my grammar. <gasps> And I know how much that dear, sweet little old lady hates to be corrected. Not my grandma, my grammar. Just look. Duchy took the last letter I sent her and returned it to me with red pencil marks all over it. <gasps> how dare she? No one corrects the queen. If I make a mistake, I call a river a lake. If I make a date and in the face, then this are the duchy red pencil my letter she wrote this across the page better brush up on your adverbs twinkle toes i do not need to brush up on my adverbs i write all my adverbs correct uh, correctly whatever the point is i never make a mistake with adverbs because when i write i write slow uh, slowly oh whatever 
Furthermore, even if I did make a teeny tiny mistake with an adverb, I'd catch it because I reread all my letters careful. Carefully. Rabbit! Are you correcting me? <gasps> me correcting? Oh, no, no. Perish the thought, Your Majesty. No, I'm simply pointing out, for Alice's sake, something which you, of course, already know. Mm -hmm. Uh, that most adverbs end with L-Y. Oh, 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 And when did you become such an expert on adverbs anyway? Me? An expert? <laughs> you flatter me, Your Majesty. I'm not an expert. I don't... Oh, you were being sarcastic back then when you said... Yes, well, every evening I watch my favorite TV game show, Name That Adverb. Oh, why? I've never even heard of that show. Oh, and since when did you start watching it? <laughs> since they added the cutest little co-hostess, Vanna White Rabbit. Ah, oh, the way she turned those adverbs around really gets my foot thumping. <laughs> Duchess watches that show, too. That's why she feels she can correct your grammar. You're right, Alice. Rabbit, give me the phone. I know just how to show that smarty pants that I know a thing or two about adverbs. Hello? Is this name that adverb? Well, this is the queen. And I want you to put me on your show. And that's an order. Uh, your majesty. Are you sure it's wise to go on name that adverb with all of Wonderland watching? Why shouldn't I? As I told you, I know my adverbs, and I can rattle them off easy. Easily. <laughs> this is not my turn, turn over time. Come back in five minutes, please. I will not come back in five minutes. I need to talk to you now. Oh, it's you, Your Majesty. I had uh, no idea it was you. How may I help you? Well, it's not like an emergency or anything. I mean, I'm not here to get help with my adverbs, if that's what you're thinking. Uh, because if there's one thing a queen knows, it's her adverbs. Mm. I think you should listen to this story. Once there was a sheep named Shirley who lived with her sisters in a big pasture. Shirley was always bored. Our flock never goes anywhere, she complained. <sighs> then one day, Shirley saw an ad in the paper. The famous rock group Uriah Sheep was giving a concert on a nearby farm. Let's go, Shirley said to her sisters. Off they went, ready to have a wild and woolly time. Wait, Shirley's sisters said. Shouldn't we bring a map? Nah, said Shirley. I can find the way. So they left home. They drove. And drove. And drove. Shirley's sisters were getting worried. Shouldn't we stop to ask directions, they wondered? But Shirley refused to admit that she was a little lost sheep. And finally, the car ran out of gas. Shirley felt sheepish. Not only had they missed the concert, but little Bo Peep charged them a lot of money to find them and bring them home. Majesty, you shouldn't be afraid to ask someone for help if you don't know something. Ah, Caterpillar, you're absolutely right. So here's the scoop. I'm going to be on that game show, Name That Adverb, tonight. And between you and me and the mushrooms, I don't know an adverb for my elbow. Really? Well, I know everything there is to know about adverbs. Great! So you'll coach me for the show? No! No? Why not? Because I'll be competing against you. I'm the current champion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to work on my tan. After all, when I'm on TV, I want to have a little color in my cheeks. Oh, how not? Oh. 
D, I still don't see how all this exercise will help me win big. I'll name that adverb. It's simple, dumb. You're not gonna win a million if you don't feel like a million. <laughs> Benefits of exercise are easily seen in a spirit that is strong and a body that is lean. If you want to look your best to others and yourself, give a bit of every day to your good health. You'll feel like a million or maybe two. It's a personal fortune just for you. The regimen of winners, the path to success. A strong and healthy Tweedle always does his best. Ah, get ready, dumb. Let's go. The benefits of exercise are easily seen in a spirit that is strong and a body that is lean. You feel like a million or maybe two. It's a personal fortune just for you. The regimen of winners, the path to success. A strong and healthy Tweedle always does his best. Go ahead. Now, it's back to the training tapes. Again, D. I've watched every single Name That Adverb show that's been on the air for the last year. And now you watch them a second time, because some of those adverbs may turn up again. Name That Adverb! Uh, it? Oh, hi, Your Majesty. <laughs> Dumb's gonna be a contestant on Name That Adverb tonight, so he's studying some old shows. You're going to be on the show? Yes, and you really have to know your adverbs if you hope to beat the caterpillar. Wait a minute. Uh, isn't there also a third contestant you have to beat? Well, yes, but from watching these old shows, it's clear to me the third one's always some potato head they put on just for laughs. Potato head. Now, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's royal potato head to you, bub. Oh. oh. Normally, Hatter, I wouldn't even dream of coming to you with this kind of problem. But frankly, I'm desperate. Oh, Your Majesty, you're just saying that. Look, I'm having trouble getting my adverbs. Oh, sheesh, you and everybody else. My adverbs have been on back order for weeks. Now, verbs, they're much easier to get. I ordered these on a Monday, and they were delivered the following Wednesday. Hatter, what are you talking about? How hard it is to get adverbs. Why, well, you practically have to know somebody. No, to... when I said I'm having trouble getting adverbs, I meant I'm having trouble understanding them. You know, how they work in a sentence. Oh, well, I'd love to help you with that. But as I just said... I've only got verbs. <laughs> oh, take this one, for example. Talk. Your typical action verb. But without an adverb, you can't talk loudly or softly or slowly. You can just talk. <laughs> yes, sirree. Without adverbs, it's just the poor old verb sitting out there all by itself. And let me tell you, that can get mighty lonely. Well, here's the story of the lonely verb. The old verb. Himself. Hey, but here's Lonely, his adverb friend, riding his pony around the bay. Well, Lonely just might be only lonely by himself, you see? <laughs> but Lonely and Bird together, they keep each other company. Well, honey, how you doing, Lonely? Yeah, Lonely, he's not much of a talker. <clears throat> Way back when, old Verb, he rode the range. Jauntily, happily, even doubly. But times change, and now today, well, it's not the end. Because old Verb has learned to make lonely his lonely adverb friend. That's the story of the lonely verb. The adverb to hear. Oh, the adverb. <laughs> oh, and look, they sent all our favorites. The adverbs with the suffix ly. Nicely. Oh. 
honestly. Ooh. Strangely. <laughs> Carefully. Do all adverbs end in L-Y? No, not all of them. Just most of them. It's really very simple, Your Majesty. See, most verbs are action words. The things you do, like uh, sit, bite, jump, swim. And an adverb is a how word. Howard? Who's Howard? Oh, some guy I knew in school. He was terrible in grammar. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Mm. Now, take the verb walk. Without an adverb, you can only walk one way. Yeah, but after a while, that gets pretty boring. Boring. But a good adverb used intelligently, judiciously, and prudently can allow you to walk quickly. <laughs> Proudly. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah. Or even goofily. <laughs> Not to mention clumsily. How true that is. So you see, Your Majesty, action verbs tell you what you're doing, and adverbs tell you how you're doing it. Great. With a little help from the suffix L-Y, I'll show that duchess a thing or two. Listen, duchy, just be sure you're tuned into the show tonight, because I wouldn't want you to miss a single minute or a single adverb. Gosh, Your Majesty, I've never known anyone who's been on a game show before. I'm really going to enjoy this. So am I, especially the part where I cream the competition. <laughs> and show the Duchess that I know more about adverbs than she does. Your Majesty, do you really think you should brag like that? Why shouldn't I? Adverbs are my life. She has studied very hard for the show, Mr. Cat. Yes, still, with all of Wonderland watching, won't you be under a lot of pressure? Ha! Pressure's my middle name. Huh? Okay, so it's Eunice. The point is, I know so much about adverbs now. I'll win easy. Uh, don't you mean easily? <laughs> Please welcome our first contestant, the five-time returning champ, the Caterpillar! And now, entering our studio is a Tweedle from Wonderland, Tweedle Dumb! And our final contestant, a member of royalty, Her Majesty, the Red Queen. And all three will do their best not to play badly as they compete for one million Robux on Name hey, Pat And now, here's your host, Pat Sajak! Hey, thank you! Thank you, everybody! Thank you very much, and welcome. And now, let's bring out the lovely Vanna White Rabbit! Oh! Nice outfit, man. Well, let's get on with the game. Gee, Mr. D, who do you think's going to win? Oh, my brother's a cinch, because he had such a good coach. What do you think, Mr. Rabbit? I think I'm in love. All right, players, get ready to hit your buzzers. Here's your first sentence. Marie didn't want to scrape her knee, so she skated how? Careful. Carefully. Rutabaga. Rutabaga. Uh, wait, I, I mean, uh... Carefully. Marie skated carefully. That's right, Caterpillar. Congratulations. Uh, oh, Your Majesty, just a word of advice. Before you hit the buzzer, you might want to wait until you know the answer. Oh, how rough. I knew the answer. I just got nervous. Yeah, of course. That's what they all say. Gosh, Mr. Rabbit, do you think Her Majesty will calm down enough to win? Mr. Rabbit. <gasps> oh, look. Vanna's looking right at me. Uh, Rabbit, she's not looking at you. She's looking at her cue card, so she knows what to say next. Oh, no. She doesn't say anything at all. She just turns the adverbs around. <laughs> Don't knock it. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> okay, you advocates of accurate adverbs, here's your next sentence. Lloyd was in a hurry, so he did his chores how? Quick, quickly, kumquat. Quickly, Lloyd did his chores 
quickly. That's absolutely right. Say, you're not so dumb after all, dumb. <laughs> uh, uh, and your majesty, uh, again, before, when I, when I told you to wait before hitting your buzzer, I didn't mean wait till someone else buzzes in. I knew that. I pressed my buzzer on time. Uh, it just didn't work. That's funny, your majesty. Mine worked fine. Oh, it did, did it? Then I'll use yours. Uh, but, Your Majesty, if you take my buzzer, then you'll have two and I'll have none. So what's your point? All right, it's time to recap the score. Now, so far, the Caterpillar and Tweedledum are tied with one adverb each. And the Queen? Well, Her Majesty has one big, fat goose egg. <laughs> All right, ready on buzzers, players. Next sentence coming up. Sherry studied for her spelling test because she didn't want to do how. Or, poorly... Seltzer. Poorly. Sherry didn't want to do poorly. That's right. You did it again, Caterpillar. Thank you, Harrison. I can't get an adverb in edgewise on this show. Caterpillar, I order you to lay down your butter. Pat, can she do that? Of course I can do it. I'm the queen. The best I can do it. I'm the queen. Okay, Pat. Let her rip. Armand studied in the library. How? Quietly. Um, Wanda followed the instructions. How? Thoroughly. That's right, Your Majesty. Claire waited her turn in line. How? Patiently. Ragweed. Patiently. Yes, Your Majesty, you're absolutely right. And that means you move on to the bonus round. Oh, goody, 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 goody. <laughs> What's the bonus round? This is the bonus round? Me waiting to get dunked in a tank of cold water if I give so much as one wrong answer? Well, whose chuckle-headed idea was this? Well, actually, it was mine. Bah, bah. But remember, Your Majesty, you won't get dunked if you'll just name, name that adverb. Now, remember, you have to name all three correctly in order to win. So, let's get started. Your Majesty, how would you like the caterpillar to throw the baseball? Slow or slowly? Slowly. That's right. Hang on to the caterpillar. Throw that ball. All right, here's the next one. How would you like Tweedledum to throw the baseball? Bad or badly? Badly. Right again. Not this time. Now, here comes the big one, Your Majesty. Listen closely. If you name that adverb, you win a million Wobucks, and you'll be back as our returning champion. If you don't... You get dumb. All right. How would you like Tweedledum and the Caterpillar to throw the baseballs? Soft or softly? Soft. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to go with the first answer we heard. And since you goofed, gentlemen, fire away. No! Softly, softly! Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but if you get dunked, you lose. And that means the Caterpillar will return tomorrow as our champion. And until then, remember to use all your adverbs correctly. Some of our parting contestants will receive Betty Brand Bland Rice Cakes. Remember, if it's Betty Brand, you know it's bland. If you plan to be in Wonderland and would like to be a contestant, please drop us a postcard. Oh, you were wonderful. Tell me, how do you do it? Uh, uh, sorry, Rabbit. Vanna can't talk to you right now. Uh, there's a little something the matter with her voice. What's the matter with my voice? Oh. Oh. I'm really sorry you didn't win, Your Majesty. No, Alice, I deserve to lose. Because anybody who doesn't know her adverbs is all wet.
China. I can do my homework now. I figured out the right way to use an adverb. Like this sentence. Heidi spoke quiet in the library. It needs an adverb to tell how Heidi spoke. So you take the word quiet and add the suffix L-Y, making the adverb quietly. Don't worry, Dinah. I'll be able to play with you soon. Now that I understand adverbs, I can do my homework quickly. Mm -hmm.